Those sounds of history helping a local teacher help those who fought for our country. The man made an album out of recordings of his grandfather and his bandmates from World War II. CBS 13's Ryan Hill takes us behind the music. Songs of yesteryear coming back to life, courtesy of Richard Burt's grandson, Jason. Just pushing this forward for him and his World War II bandmates to try and get them some recognition for the things they did in the war and the, the professional careers that they didn't have, even though they were really talented. If Jason's story sounds familiar, it should. We first told you about him finding the records last year, taking the vinyl records and creating a digital album. Now, word's getting around about the sweet sounds his grandfather and bandmates once made. Early on, I knew I wanted to have the USO involved, and it was just a seamless transition to going, hey, we could donate a portion of the, the, the album sales, and it would be kind of like the World War II veterans working together again with the USO 75 years later. So Jason and the USO put pen to paper, and a little more than six months later, forming a deal to do just that. This is to boost morale for service members who aren't around it, at home and who are away from family members. They had the same goals, and so he would be very thrilled. But raising green isn't the only goal. So is bringing home the gold. It's the only known recording of a frontline band unit performing out where the war was actually happening. They made this in a tent in Manila. It's historical, so we're going to be trying to get these World War II veterans a Best Historical Album Grammy. A grandson hoping to hit all the right notes when it comes to keeping the greatest generation's legacy alive. And to put them back in the spotlight, kind of in the twilight, is going to be pretty exciting. Love that old sound, that old footage. Mm. Now, some of the money generated by the album will also go towards local veterans' charities.